Hello everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day One. Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas. Hooray! So since I'm really new to YouTube and also new to Slovenia, I thought it would be really fun to do Vlogmas this year and show you some of the traditions in Slovenia versus a little bit of my own tradition, as well as getting to show you the things that I get up to this month. So what I'm going to be doing instead of one day, like posting every single day until Christmas, is I'm going to be doing 12 days of Vlogmas. So it's going to basically be like posting every other day until Christmas. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and I'm super excited to show you the things I'm going to do because there are a few things that I'm going to do. So now the main thing that I've noticed in Slovenian tradition is they get three Santas basically and they all get their own separate days which is so cool because you basically get to be celebrating like all throughout the month. They all kind of coincide with one another and so they call them the three good men or the good old men and they all have their own like sort of separate traditions. So the first of the three good men that's celebrated is on December 6th and that is Sveti Miklaus, and that's basically Saint Nicholas. And the cool thing about this one is when he comes, he also brings Parkli, which is like a Slovenian version of Krampus along. So men will dress up as Sveti Miklaus or Miklaus with Parkli and they'll either go around town in like a parade sort of thing or they'll go to like people's houses and there'll be like a sort of ceremony where Miklaus gives gifts to the kids and Parkli will like or a mess of them will like take away the bad children and do sort of a light hazing ritual which I think is kind of fun because <laughs> they'll like pull the kids out of the house, like older kids generally. I don't think they do it with really young kids, but. And one of the main foods for that day is parkli kruh. Kruh is bread, so it would be like a little like Krampus-shaped uh, sweet bread. And it's generally like given out to the kids. On this day, it's typical for families to give small presents and chocolates to the kids. So typically the main present giving is on Christmas Day. So Parkli, or Krampus, is a pre-Christian alpine demon, basically, which I think is really cool because it's all throughout Slavic um, folklore and traditions. Um, it's only recently become more of a thing in the States, and I'm really excited, actually, to be able to see this character being an active role in... Um, in Central Europe and Slavic traditions. And I've always really enjoyed the symbolism and the archetype of Krampus because you've, you've got to have the light with the dark, you know? Like, December is a time for darkness. And I think that Krampus or Parkli is a really good representation of that, bringing that darkness back into the holiday festivities and holiday themes. So on December 25th is when actual Christmas happens, and in Slovenia it's called Božić. And the typical um, sort of American-looking Santa is Božiček. And that day is when everybody typically gives their gifts around, and you have the big Christmas feast, which is roast chicken, sometimes goose or pig, but... I think it's primarily chicken. It can be stuffed or unstuffed. I think our family doesn't stuff the chicken. Um, and you also have krompir, which is um, potatoes. It's generally roasted potatoes. Persimmons are a really common newer tradition, as well as French salad, which is like diced potatoes and other vegetables in like a creamy, lightly sweet sauce really common for holiday meals. And then I think the main food for the December holidays is potitsa, which is a rolled sweet bread 
that is generally filled with things like walnuts or poppy seeds or something like that. And the third of the three good men is Grandpa Frost or Derek Mraz. And he's more of a non-religious communist era Santa. He has a much more Slavic look to him. So he's got like a long leather coat with furs. So he's more of what communist era Yugoslavians would celebrate instead. So he came generally and gave gifts and things. And since then, people have gone back to the other holidays as well. So they actually end up celebrating these three separate holidays and three separate um, figures or Santas, basically. Sveti Miklaus definitely has a more religious, saintly look to him because he is Saint Nicholas. And then Bozicek has definitely more of that Coca-Cola Santa Claus look going on. And then Derek Mraz definitely has a more Slavic look to him. So something I'd love to know is what are your favorite holiday traditions? Even if you don't celebrate, what's your most favorite thing about winter? Comment down below and let me know. I would love to hear it. So hit that like button down below if you enjoyed this and subscribe if you want to see more of my Vlogmas videos or more of Slovenian traditions and my life here in Slovenia as a US expat. If you want to see me do the Parkli Kru recipe, check out my next vlog. It comes up in a couple of days. I hope you're having a great month and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. My sweater matches my bed. If you look really close, there are even tiny stockings.